Camp Pendleton houses this first of its kind facility for the United States Marine Corps. I got exclusive access inside by an invitation from the Brigadier General commanding over the 1st Marine Logistics Group. It's a prototype training facility so real, so raw, it rivals war. The combat environment where every decision counts. Where how you react makes all the difference. Where the enemy is shooting to kill. Right your neck. You're done. Down. But here at Pendleton's Infantry Immersion Training Compound, you live to learn which sights, sounds, and movements will matter. Because chaos happens quickly in combat, and these role players teach troops how to know an ambush from an ally. Avatars teach troops how to assess and act fast. Their actions have to be built in by the time they're deployed. Watching over it all is Brigadier General Vincent Colonnades. These Marines sometimes only have a couple seconds to make that decision. It's knowing what's around you, what it looks like, smells like, and sounds like. It's all about developing the senses. A Marine has to figure out what's out of place, what's not right, who's acting differently, and what's different today than yesterday. So how would you know something was wrong? They said, well, the, the dirt color was cha has changed because there was digging. There was an old lady that always sat on, you know, at the seat, and she's no longer sitting there today. She was always there and waved to us. Those signs are just as important in the combat convoy simulator. I was put in the driver's seat, taking us through a virtual village, knowing every person, vehicle, mound of dirt, dead animal, or pile of rocks in the road could be an IED. It caught real fast. All right, back up. Turn around, turn around. All right, I'm backing up. Not fast enough. Simple things that, that look simple aren't as simple. It's a, it's a complicated uh, convoy procedures. The instructor here is Sergeant Martin Finkelstein. He knows all too well it's a constant struggle to adapt. He's been deployed six times. So it's, it's not necessarily a destination as much as it is just, you know, you constantly evolving and just adapting to the enemy's uh, tactics. He put me in the gunner spot, and I felt the stress kick in fast. I'm going to spin. Here we go. It's a pretty vicious monster that as soon as you're like, okay, this is what they'll do. Well, they're not doing that anymore. Now we got to adapt to this. This training here is saving lives overseas. Of the 56,000 Marines in the Southwest region, all infantry units come through this training twice a year before being deployed. They spend months here training their senses. As one Marine told me, we've got to have the muscle memory to act quickly when the seconds really matter. Mm -hmm.